Hey everyone, one of the main selling points for Everlast and it's very unique to the company is that we will actually let you make your own repairs to uh, help save you some downtime. So today we're gonna go through replacing a top board and a high frequency board. So our first step is to grab our five millimeter Allen wrench and remove the two Allen head bolts in both of the top handles. We'll pull those off. We'll then move to the five screws per side of the machine. We'll pull those. We've then got four screws on the back panel, and we've got two screws underneath the back panel. Then that back panel will pull off. We can then slide the, the case back and then pull it up. We've got the internals of the machine completely exposed. So now that we have the cover off the machine, we've exposed our top board. So now let's say one of these capacitor goes out, you call tech support, they say that you need to replace the top board. Everlast can generally ship you this top board within two to three days. So you're talking three to four days down and then maybe a 20 minute repair. So we're gonna go through taking all the clips off this board, taking the ribbon clip off, where the screws are, pull this board out, put the new board on, reconnecting everything and getting this machine back in service. Your first step is to pull out your phone and take pictures of where all the clips go. So just in case you get lost, you've got a picture reference of where everything goes. So now that we've got our reference, we're ready to start pulling this apart. All right, so now that we're ready to start taking this old board off, let's take our new board, compare them, make sure everything looks similar. I know there's a lot of components on there, but just kind of give it a scan through. Keep this board in the correct position. That way you don't turn it around. And then you go through and you want to look for clips that look similar. So you can see that all these look pretty different, pretty different. We get to these two. So this clip here on the right, the wires come from underneath the board. And this clip on the left, the wires come from this harness. So we're going to go ahead and mark this right side and make sure to get a dot on the clip itself and on the base. That way when we go to put it together, if we forget which is which, then we instantly know we don't have to go back and look at our reference picture. So now let's start pulling these clips off. So now that we have all of our clips loose, we took our ribbon clip out, we've marked our two similar clips. There's four screws, one in each corner, and then we've got a grounding cord right here. So don't forget your ground. You'll go to pull that board up and you could yank the ground and damage the little connector here on the circuit board. Now the board is ready to lift up and come off. Now while we do this, just in case you forgot anything, lift up very slowly and carefully. And if you feel any resistance, stop double check what's holding you up, fix it, and then continue taking the board off. So now that we've got our old board removed, we can start getting our new board ready to go. So we want to make sure we're in the correct orientation. We've transferred our line from the old board to the new board so we can get these little red clips in the right hole. So you just wanna make sure you push the wires out of the way a little bit and then get ready to set your new board back down on the machine. All right, so now we're ready to start reattaching everything. So I'm gonna start, just cause this was a little bit of a pain to get out. I'm gonna put my ground screw back in first. So line it up, screw it down. I'm going to grab my four little corner screws, get the board secured down again. So right now that we have the board fastened, let's put our ribbon back on. This is directional, so it only goes one way. Make sure your locking tabs are open. Give it a firm press and they'll click back in place. So now you can see 
I've got my phone off to the side here so I can quickly reference. I can zoom in, see which clips go where. So now let's start putting all the clips back together. And these clips are directional. So if one's hanging up, make sure you've got it the right, the right position and just give it a little wiggle to push it back down. Some of them it's kind of hard to get your fingers into, so you've got to work at it just a little bit. All right, now we're just going to go through and double check that all of our clips are nice and secure. Found a loose one. All right. Now, one of the nice things about how these boards are designed, you can see nothing was soldered on. Everything was clips. Uh, it was just a couple screws. I mean, this is really not even knowing what you're doing. I don't know anything about electronics. And this is a 15, 20 minute job to rebuild this, this top board. And that's one of the nice things about the way that we do these boards is that it makes it to where anybody can service their machine. You don't have to send it off and have to you know, wait for parts or wait for the shop. You know, I had a big, you know, a big name brand welder that, uh, that blew a main board and it took them 19 weeks to get me the parts and fix the machine. I mean, that's, you know, you're talking four or five months I'm out of service where with Everlast, two or three days shipping and 20 minutes, you're back to welding. So after watching this video, if you still feel kind of intimidated about replacing the top board, no, no worries. Uh, our repair center can take care of you and all machines purchased after January 1st, 2022 have five years shipping to and from the repair facility for you. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Weld mean, weld green.